Okay, the inventory has arrived at the door. The truck just came unloaded and we've got a pallet of inventory. We need to receive that inventory so those who are picking know that they're in the warehouse and we can pick. I'm Lance, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to receive inventory in SIN 7. First of all, we've got to go to the purchasing area. We'll click purchase. And then we need to go to the purchase order that we're receiving. Click on the purchase order to receive. And we have two options. If everything is there, if we go through and count everything and it all looks good, if it's just a simple purchase order, then we can just go ahead and put the date there. But if we want to specify where the inventory is or where we put it, if we actually put it away, then we want to specify right here. I click where my mouse is and then you notice we have the quantity that we received. Now maybe it's split up so this is flexible. We can receive more than we ordered. We can receive less than we ordered. Also we want to make sure we're receiving it to the correct building. We may want to double check that. Hopefully that never that never happens. And then once, once we have it going to the proper place, the proper building, the proper count, we can select the, the bin location that we bring it into and click Save. So it's partially received at this time. We just need to put in the date so it shows that it was received. We get a nice little pop-up saying, hey, are you sure you counted everything right? You ordered 100, but you entered in 105. That's a good feature. It's letting us receive more than we intended to purchase. And doesn't that happen? That definitely happens sometimes, doesn't it? So we click OK, gives us a red flag. And you'll notice the purchase order status is still open. We haven't yet um, changed the status to fully received. So we want to change the status to fully receive if it's all been received. So we'll go ahead and select the date that it was fully received. It selects the date and time. This is purchase order number 13. When we click save and back, we get that warning again. Hey, you received more than you intended. Okay, we're good with that. And now purchase order number 13 is is off the list because this list is showing us open and saved purchase order drafts. If we want to see it up again, we'll see that now the status is received. Now we'll go to the accounting screen to show you what, if anything, is queued up to go to the accounting software. So that's over here to the left. We'll click on accounting. QuickBooks Enterprise is the accounting software this subscription is connected to. So we'll click on that. Bring us to the dashboard. We'll see purchase orders right here and choose. We'll select choose. There's nothing there. You'll notice that there is nothing queued up to go to accounting. So just receiving something does not queue anything up to go to the accounting software. Watch the next video to see invoicing for purchase orders for recording the receipt of the invoice. And it really is that simple. Thanks for joining us today at Brano Consulting. Please comment below for other video recommendations and be sure to subscribe so you can quickly and easily find the video you're looking for and the playlist you're looking for.